Have you ever sought happiness in every possible way, only to feel more and more empty inside? Kim, a young man full of energy, was in exactly this situation. His relentless pursuit brought him an unexpected encounter with a Zen master who revealed to him a profound secret. Happiness is not an object to possess or goal to achieve, but a garden to cultivate. Discover how Kim, through five powerful life lessons, learned to transform his emptiness into full and lasting contentment. If you too wish to find true happiness, keep watching and let this story change your perspective forever. If you are enjoying this video and want to support this channel, I invite you to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and share this beautiful story with your friends. And if you want to share your thoughts with us, you can leave a comment below and tell us about your experience. And now let's move on to our video. Kim was a young man full of energy, but every day he woke up with an emptiness inside. His search for happiness had taken him to many places, but none of them seemed to fill that emptiness. One day, while walking in a bamboo forest, he met an old Zen Buddhist master who seemed to be a part of the very nature around him. The master, with eyes shining with wisdom, smiled at him and approached him with a light step, as if the whole world danced to his rhythm. Master, said Kim in a voice filled with hope and despair, I have searched for happiness in every corner of the world, but I cannot find it. I feel lost and unsatisfied. The master, with a slight smile that seemed to contain centuries of wisdom, nodded slowly. His eyes, deep as bottomless wells, reflected an understanding so profound that Kim felt as if the old man could see straight into his heart. Every wrinkle on the master's face told a story of experiences lived and lessons learned. Happiness, the master began to say in a voice that was a whisper in the breeze, is not a simple causal condition, young Kim. It is not something that happens or that you possess like an object. Happiness is not a coin you find by chance on the path of life. It is not a matter of simply being happy or unhappy, as if it were a switch that you can turn on or off. The teacher paused, allowing his words to settle in Kim's heart and mind. Imagine happiness as a garden, he continued. A garden that requires care, dedication, and time to grow. It's not enough to plant seeds and hope they grow on their own. You have to water them, protect them from the weather, remove weeds and nourish the soil. Only then will the flowers of happiness bloom. The old master looked at Kim with an intensity that seemed to transfix him. Happiness is a discipline, a daily practice that must be cultivated with patience and wisdom. One is not born knowing how to be happy, but it can be learned. And like any other discipline, it requires commitment and awareness. Kim listened attentively. Each of the master's words seemed to resonate with a deep truth she had never considered before. She felt that she was about to embark on a meaningful journey, one that would change her life forever. Allow me to teach you, the master said, his voice now a little firmer, as if he were offering a solemn promise, not through theories or speeches, but through experiences that will touch your soul and guide you to a deep understanding of happiness. These are five lessons, Five experiences that will show you how to cultivate happiness in the garden of your heart. Get ready, young Kim, because what you are about to learn has the power to transform your life. The teacher approached and laid a reassuring hand on Kim's shoulder. Remember, he concluded, happiness is not a gift you receive, but an art you learn to master. And the first step on this journey is to be willing to learn and experiment with an open mind and heart. The master led Kim to a stream that flowed placidly through the forest. The water reflected the sunlight in a thousand sparks, creating an almost magical atmosphere. Sit down and listen, the master said in a calm voice. Kim sat on the shore, closing her eyes. At first she heard only the sound of water flowing over pebbles. Then, slowly, other sounds began to emerge. The song of birds hidden in the foliage, the rustle of leaves moved by the wind, and even his own breathing, which seemed to harmonize with the surrounding nature. Each sound was like a note in a natural symphony, and Kim began to feel part of something bigger than himself. Being aware of the present moment, the teacher explained, allows you to appreciate the beauty of life. There is no past, no future, only this moment. Happiness comes from being fully present. When your mind is in the present, it is not crushed by regrets of the past or anxieties about the future. 
Happiness is here and now, in the simplicity of the present. Kim realized how often his mind wandered elsewhere, missing the beauty of his surroundings. He decided to commit himself to living in the moment, experiencing each moment with fullness. After a while, the teacher led Kim to a clearing where flowers of every color were growing. The petals vibrated with life, flooding the air with sweet scents. Each flower is a gift, the teacher said, extending a hand toward a delicate white flower. Pick one and think of one thing you are grateful for. Kim picked a bright red flower. She held it in her hands and closed her eyes, letting her mind fill with memories of her childhood. He thought of his mother, her unconditional love and the warmth of her hugs that had always comforted him in difficult times. A smile painted itself on his face. At that moment, Kim felt a surge of gratitude for all the little things he had often taken for granted. He realized that every day was full of blessings, if only he paid attention. When you practice gratitude, the teacher said, you begin to see the richness of your life. Every day there are a thousand things we can be grateful for, small and large. Happiness blooms from recognizing the blessings you already have. It is not about what you do not have, but what you do have and often take for granted. Kim felt her heart fill with warm joy, understanding that gratitude was a powerful key to happiness. The master led Kim to a large oak tree, whose mighty roots sank into the earth as if trying to embrace the heart of the world. Rely on this tree, he said. Imagine that each leaf represents a negative thought or regret. Kim touched the leaves, feeling the weight of each negative thought that plagued him. He focused on all the worries, fears, and regrets that had accompanied him up to that moment. Then the wind began to blow gently, and the leaves began to fall, one by one, carried far away. Each falling leaf was a weight lifted from Kim's heart, freeing him. Letting go of the past and negative thoughts frees you, the master explained. The past is immutable and negative thoughts are only shadows that weigh down the heart. Happiness is a light and open mind. Letting go does not mean forgetting, but accepting and moving forward without the burden of what we cannot change. Kim felt a sense of lightness that he had never felt before, as if he was finally free from the invisible chains that held him back. The teacher took Kim to a nearby village where people were building a new school. The happy voices of the children and the sound of work tools filled the air. Help them, the teacher said, handing Kim a hammer. Kim began working with the others, feeling the connection and human warmth growing around him. Every smile and every kind word he received filled his heart with simple, pure joy. He saw how each small gesture contributed to a larger work and how the community grew stronger through collaboration and mutual help. He felt the sense of belonging grow within him. Serving others gives you a sense of purpose, the teacher said. When you devote yourself to the good of others, you discover a happiness that goes beyond mere personal fulfillment. Happiness is the result of a life lived for the common good, where every selfless action is transformed into a source of joy. Kim realized that through service to others, he could find a deeper meaning in his life, one that filled him with lasting satisfaction. Finally, the master led Kim to a waterfall, where the water plunged into a crystal clear pond with an incessant soothing sound. The place exuded a deep serenity, as if each drop of water sang a song of peace. Close your eyes and focus your mind on the sound of water, said the master Kim closed his eyes and felt the power and tranquility of the waterfall. Slowly, his mind calmed down, and a sense of peace pervaded him. His worries began to dissolve, giving way to an inner silence he had never experienced before. Every breath seemed to align with the flow of the water, and Kim felt the presence of a deep stillness within him. Meditation connects you with your inner essence, the teacher said. It is a journey within yourself, a time of deep listening and understanding. Happiness is a state of balance and inner peace, which is achieved when the mind is calm and free from the tumult of incessant thoughts. Kim opened his eyes and realized that he had found a valuable key to serenity. Meditation offered him a refuge, a place of peace that he could visit at any time. He looked at the teacher with gratitude. Now I understand, Kim said, with a new awareness shining in his eyes. Happiness is not something you find, but something you cultivate. The master smiled, 
with the wisdom of the world in his eyes. Remember, young man, happiness is a journey, not a destination. Practice these techniques every day and you will find happiness within yourself. Kim thanked the master and resumed her journey, with a light heart and a new sense of purpose. The forest seemed brighter, the sky bluer, and he knew that true happiness was within his grasp, if only he continued to cultivate it with care and dedication. Every step he took was a step toward a full and fulfilling life, knowing that happiness was a daily choice, an art to be perfected with love and patience. 